ICS Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. There are some remarks William Ruto made today. Remarks that have clearly backfired. God willing, by the end of my term, I want to change Kibera to be a real estate, not a slum. President William Ruto. And that has been quoted by the star. And upon the star sharing out that, Kenyans had very interesting opinions. Lishenga origin ridges, Huruma, Kingongo, in your home constituency in Eldoret, aren't any different from Kibra? And then there is somebody, Francis Mwendwa, just form a ministry of empty promises. And then somebody by the name Esther Dungu, actions needed, not words. Yes. I think you, she, she wanted to say, you promised to remove Kenyan from CRB. And then Samuel M. Wambui, talking promises day in, day out. And then somebody by the name Wanaina Gashie, tulijenga tulifanya isipokuwa ni handshake tungekuwa. Sasa fanya. I'm very sure you won't achieve what Uhuru did. In fact, you will bring a negative impact to Kenyan progress. Already, you have started judiciary and security. Gail Kingi, this is too much banalize. You are going to kill us with ghost projects. And then somebody here supports him. That will completely finish Barbara Ilaudinga. He's been thriving on the poverty of Kibra slums. Then somebody, Musos Musa, Kibaki never advertised his plans and he delivered. Yes. Those are some reactions by Kenyans. And you are seeing almost 99% of the responses are actually castigating William Samoy Ruto. Kenyans don't believe and trust that he will be able to deliver. <laughs> and they see him as just making empty promises. And some are also challenging him that in his own constituency, where he comes from, there are slums. Why can't he start with those ones? In this video, I want us to dig deep into that story to see exactly what it means politically and what William Ruto is trying to achieve. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. William Ruto is promising that by the end of his term, Kibra will not be a slum, but an estate. So the question begs, why only Kibra while we have so many slums in Kenya, including in Eldoret, where Ruto comes from, why is he singling out only Kibra? Yes. Could it not be more prudent if William Ruto as the president could influence a government policy for slum upgrading across the country? Hmm? and not only singling out Kibra. Could it not be more prudent if he goes that route? In fact, if you look at it deeply, I'm seeing a very likely possibility where William Root has looked at the city and he has identified Kibra as a possible epicenter of his re rebellion. Ruto knows that a good majority of Kibra residents do not approve of his presidency. William Ruto is trying to disorganize that kind of unity. He is trying to make sure he scatters those people. Because he knows that if he misrules, then Kibra will most definitely rebel against his rule. He is just trying to disorganize them 
early enough. I'm seeing that as one or a possible William Ruto's intention. And then if you look at it again from another angle, is William Ruto addressing the issues forcing Kenyans to stay in the slums? Is he addressing the issues? Because normally you don't expect somebody to stay in a slum when he can stay in an estate. Yes. You don't expect somebody to choose to be in the slum. If you don't maybe <laughs> upgrade the person's economic activity hmm? or you don't give him an alternative, a better economic activity, you don't expect that person to move from the slum. Is William Ruto addressing the issue of unemployment? Because that's also a factor forcing Kenyans to stay in those slums. Is William Ruto addressing the high cost of living? Is William Ruto addressing the issue of proper education? For the time William Ruto has been the president, he seems to be doing the opposite. In terms of an employment, he has actually rendered more Kenyans jobless than even Uru Kenyatta by abolishing Kazim Tani. More Kenyans are now jobless in William Ruto's government. The cost of living has actually gone up, courtesy to the fact that William Ruto abolished or rather removed subsidies on fuel and on longer. The cost of living is up. Kenyans cannot even put, put food on their table. On education, just some few days ago, Ezekiel Machogu, Education Cabinet Secretary, announced the government's intention to stop funding public and private universities. All these, all, all these are factors just contributing to more Kenyans living in the slums. So William Ruto is not addressing the real issues, making Kenyans to stay in those slums. And by the end of William Ruto's term, maybe Kibla slum will even be bigger. Or if it will not be there, then those Kenyans in, in Kibra shall have migrated to these other slums. And these other slums shall have even grown bigger. So William Ruto will not have addressed maybe what he intended to address. He must first of all address the root causes of what is making Kenyans to live in those slums, which currently he is not addressing. In fact, he's providing a good platform and opportunity for more Kenyans to live in those slums. And also if you look at William Ruto, William Ruto is coming out as a leader who loves to make promises. And even from those comments, we have just seen Kenyans don't believe or trust in William Ruto. They see him as a leader just making empty promises. And I don't know whether our brother William is sometimes listening to himself because he's coming out clearly as a leader who is just desperate to give promises, promise after promise. And I'm saying that because already his campaign promises he has not fulfilled any. Instead of fulfilling first the things he promised Kenyans, he has forgotten about that and is now making a, a new promise here. That by the end of my term, Kibra will not be a slum. Why can't he first fulfill the things he told Kenyans when he was campaigning? For Kenyans now to believe that by the end of his term, Kibra will not be a slum. I'm taking those remarks as just the normal William Ruto. A William Ruto full of promises, promises that most likely are never kept or fulfilled. Yes. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. And even before I stop, those remarks by William Ruto have clearly backfired. They cannot convince anybody and Kenyans cannot be convinced by those remarks by William Samoy Ruto. And we have even seen from the kind of comments Kenyans are giving.
Kenyans across the board. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. And to any other person who wants to support our channel as usual, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.